What is up, guys? Welcome to another edition of the Market Marauder Show. Beating the market one trade at a time. If you're new to the Market Marauder Show, it's an investment channel. Helps you to find the best deals in the market. All right, so today we're going over top penny stocks under $1. So let's jump into it. First one on here, we have ticker sign CEI. They ended the week at $0.50. Cents. Uh, they had a high of the week of $0.52. Cents. Overall bullish on the name. Uh, nice little rally for the week, starting um, kind of at a low of $0.33, cents, going all the way to $0.52, cents. so a nice little run uh, for the week last week. Uh, but they did hit that $0.52 cent high. Uh, overall bullish, moving average 10 is above 50 and 100. And VWAP is slightly below moving average 10, uh, but looks like in the morning time, it usually jumps back up. So going to be expecting the same pattern uh, for the next week, especially considering that it ended on a positive note. Uh, so $0.52 cents is definitely going to be a target price to look at uh, for them for next week. Uh, if we zoom out on the chart, another critical place to look at uh, as far as price is concerned is going to be right here at this peak and this is around 65 cents so i'm going to be looking at 52 cents for them for next week as well as uh 65 cents so 65 cent target price and 52 cent target price and that is for ticker sign cei next we have ticker sign txmd uh they are bearish. Uh, moving average 10 is below uh, the 50, but above the 100. Uh, they had a nice little rally last week from 71 cents up to 86 cents. Uh, overall, ending the week at 81 cents. So they had a little rally after hours uh, for ticker sign TXMD. Uh, the moving average 10 is below the 50, uh, but it is above the 100. VWAP is above moving average 10, so it looks like they may be able to turn around for next week. Target price I'm still going to be looking at for them is going to be 86 cents. Uh, so going to be looking to see if they can retest that 86 cent high uh, to continue a bullish upward trend for next week. And that is ticker sign TXMD. Next, we have ticker sign GRNQ. Uh, GRNQ shot all the way up to $1.58, uh, but since then has become bearish. So uh, kind of went down in a little bearish downward trend. Um, overall, based on the chart analysis, though, it is bullish. Uh, moving average 10 is above 5,100, and VWAP is above moving average 10, uh, but has been stagnant overall. They did fall down to $0.84 cents, um, and then shot up to $1.03 uh, to this level, uh, but since then have kind of been bouncing and oscillating between that moving average 50 line. So going to be looking to see how they perform for next week. Um, $1.03 five cents is definitely going to be a target price that i have for them uh overall uh they did end on a positive note up three cents from their close to end at 98 cents so uh dollar five cents is going to be my target price for grnq next we have tickers on nxtd um they are bearish moving average 10 is below 50 and 100 i mean below 50 but above 100 uh they have oscillated between the 50 and 100 line uh throughout the week uh, bouncing off the 67 cent level, shooting all the way up to uh, this 73 cent level, and then their high for last week was around 74 cents. Uh, so 74 cents is going to be my target price to see if they can retest that 74 cent level. Uh, overall, still looking bearish. Uh, would like to see them retest 71 cents and then retest 74 cents uh, for next week. They did have a nice little rally last week, uh, starting at a low of around 66 cents and then jumping up to the 74 cent uh, level. So that is for ticker sign NXTD. Next, we have ticker sign EVFM. They shot up to 94 cents last week. Overall, still looking at them, they are bullish. Moving average 10 is above 50 and 100. VWAP is below moving average 10, so maybe some more sideways oscillation going on on this one. Uh, so I would just say be careful. Uh, Going to be looking to see if this moving average 10 can jump above the moving average. I mean, the VWAP uh, can jump above moving average 10, um, and then they can retest this 94 cent level. So VWAP being this lime green line, uh, Going to be seeing if that can shoot back up above moving average 10, which is this red line, and then they can retest this 94 cent level. Overall, still looking looking okay for them, uh, ending at $0.79 cents for the week. And that is ticker sign EVFM. Next, we have ticker sign MKD. Uh, they are bearish as well. Uh, they did have a rally, though, last week from $0.37, cents, uh, shooting up to around $0.42. Cents. Uh, so that was a nice little uh, run for them. Uh, but it looks like they kept bouncing off the moving average uh, 50 line. 
uh, but they will have to retest the moving average 100 line. So uh, overall, they ended the week at 42 cents. Uh, so pretty good metric for them overall. Uh, price point we're looking at for them is around this 47 cent level. Uh, seems to be kind of a plateau uh, for them. So 47 cents is going to be where I'm looking at uh, for MKD for next week. Next, we have tickers on SYN. Uh, SYN is bullish. Moving average 10 is above 50 and 100. Uh, they did hit 50 cents last week, uh, so that was kind of their high. They are bullish. Moving average 10 above 50 and 100. VWAP was above moving average 10, so it's been oscillating between being above and below moving average 10. Uh, overall, they ended at 48 cents last week, uh, but still looking bullish overall. We can see that uh, 50 cents is going to be my target price for them for next week. Uh, then if we zoom out, another key target price to look at for them uh, is going to be around this 52 cent level. So uh, definitely going to be looking at those two levels, 50 cents and 52 cents for SYN. And then last on the list, we have ticker sign TTOO. Uh, they had a high of 97 cents last week, ending at 95 cents uh, for the week. Uh, they are bearish. Moving average 10 is slightly below the moving average uh, 50, uh, but it is above the moving average 100. Uh, VWAP is below moving average 10, so bearish on both of my indicators. Um, 97 cents is going to be a target price that I'm looking at for them. Um, and then going to be looking uh, at another target price of $1.23. So that's kind of their high uh, at $1.23. Going to be looking to see if it can retest that, but it will have to retest $0.97 cents, uh, beforehand. So that is for Tickerson TTOO. All right, so make sure you drop a comment down below. Tell me which one of these stocks do you think has the best potential to run up um, and go over a dollar. Uh, while you're down in the comment section, make sure you put your price targets for some of these um, and some suggestions for some other stocks that will help everybody else out in the chat. Uh, while you're down there, make sure you hit that thumbs up. It definitely helps the YouTube algorithm of the videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.